Good morning students. Today we will see about the geoinformatics in urban transportation planning. I am Dr. K. Yogeshwari, professor in department of civil engineering would like to take this topic for the course CED 2105 transportation engineering. In module 5 we have modern transportation. So in that we would like to see today geoinformatics in urban transportation planning. What is geoinformatics? Using the geographical information system, the geographical position system and the remote sensing together we call it as a geoinformatics. There are various applications of geoinformatics in many fields. In transportation, the, the application are preparing the master plan for transportation, preparing the site plan for the traffic monitoring, multimodal transportation planning, web-based user information system, transportation system control management. ITS, intelligent transportation system or the integrated application of the advanced sensor, computer, electronics and communication technologies and the management strategies to provide traveler information and increase the safety and efficiency of the transportation system. Intelligent transportation system, ITS, is classified into various categories in the transportation field. You can use as an advanced traffic management system, ATMS, advanced traveler information system, ATIS, commercial vehicle operation, CVBO, advanced vehicle control system, AVCS, advanced public transportation system, APTS, advanced rural transportation system, ARTS. GPS, you would have seen this in many of the cars flying today. The GPS bar is fitted to the car in order to tell you the direction, in order to tell you the latitude, longitude of a position and all these have been implemented in today. The various components of the geographical information system are you require some software to work out which requires some data and data should be analyzed with some method and methods should reach the people and once again the people should use the equipment to use that is hardware. So let us now see the various application of the geoinformatic in transportation one by one. Automatic vehicle location. So this is very much used today where you can track a particular vehicle with a computer based vehicle tracking system to identify the location coordinates of the vehicle for a variety of purpose. So if you want to track a commercial vehicle, you can track. If you want to track a residential vehicle, you can track. So this is very much useful for the people in the police department to find out or to track a particular vehicle. Improved dispatch and operational efficiency is being done for the commercial vehicle because of automatic vehicle location. So quicker response to the disruption in service that is AVL system using one of the following location technologies. So they use DPS, they use signpost and odometer, ground based radio or a debt reckoning. It can be used with a variable routing and scheduling also. This is an another important interesting uh, 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 application, automatic passenger count. So in uh, European countries, you don't have a conductor separately. That the vehicle itself, when you get in and get out, automatically counts the passenger as they board and align the bus at each stop along a route. So you cannot, uh, uh, you cannot enter into the bus without taking a ticket. It will not let you out reduce the cost so it, it cost to collect the ridership information and increase in the amount of quality of data collected. The fleet management, this is very much useful nowadays for the automatic vehicle. You can operate a vehicle automatically without any drivers. So this you have to have integrated with many, many data and many, many analysis inside the, uh, inside the bus itself. You have a vehicle logger system, you have uh, the uh, signalized system, automated fare collection, you have the odometer to control the speed, you have uh, a digital radio system, you have a wireless communication within, you have a traffic forecasting within 
the element you have a video recording that can be taken inside the bus automatically and uh, you can also have a stop and a, a stop when there is a vehicle before so there is a vehicle location can be done the automatically vehicle can be traced who are the vehicle coming on the either side of the vehicle and HVAC is operator there are many transmitter attached to this so all these fleet management that is when the vehicle is in motion you can automatically control the vehicle in this technology this is an another interesting technology which is used in the urban transportation if you want to count the number of vehicle that is the survey of the vehicle it is very difficult to do it in terms of of manual so traffic flow sensor embedded detector which has been installed in the pavement in the travel world it detects the vehicle which are passing in based upon the pressure of the tire it identified the type of vehicle so inductive loop detector and magnometer are very much useful in the traffic flow sensor so these are the various some of the photograph which you can see the inductive loop detector and how it has been implemented while the road is being constructed. This is an another important uh, uh, survey detector equipment which is a traffic flow sensor which is a non-intrusive detector. It, it works with the help of a microwave radar or an infrared, ultrasonic, aquastel, all these elements. You can just pass uh, rays when the vehicles are coming in and the, these rays are cut when the vehicles move in. So in that case they will count the number of vehicle. So video image vehicle detection also can be done with, with these types of sensor by fixing a video camera with it. This is an electronic fare payment. Nowadays, we have in our smart metro rail system that you have a token system where you just show your electronic fare payment and then you can let in. This can be used in many, many places and you can also have a multimodal transport electronic fare payment with these cards, which such a case you can use it the same card in the bus rail, ferry and other modes. So there are three major categories. You have a fast system, fat product and you have a, a cleaning house or a regional service center attached to it. So this is a smart card system. So you can see many photographs the people are entering in and getting out, entering into the bus. They just go and click at the card and uh, just uh, enter the uh, station in which they want to move in and move out. Just the fat will be collected. So this is an integrated fast system which is called as an e-link card. Once again in an automated vehicle while you get in you can just put this card e-link and get out. When you enter into the station you can get it and these are the mission where you can provide this EZ link so that you can book it in the station itself also. Next important category where the urban transportation use geoinformatics or the passenger information system. This is available in many in our place itself. So you can see when you enter into a very big uh, station, bus station or railway station, you can see the passenger information display board displaying the various number of routes and boats and uh, locating the uh, bus stop buses at a various station. So passenger information system can also be done inside your vehicle also. So while traveling into your vehicle, there will be a display board displaying the next destination point, what, how much time it will take, so what is the next station, all the information required to the passenger are displayed inside the vehicle itself. This is an automatic vehicle identification system which we call as an AVI. So this system is just, it's, it is now in our toll gate, you have a fast track, right? So you, you just paste your transponder tag on your vehicle and there is a tag reader at every toll station which will read your vehicle. So it is now used for the toll in our, in our state but in many countries it is used for the automatic vehicle identification where you can identify the vehicle moving in a various direction. So AVI in the national highway. This is a cellular probe surveillance. This is very much interesting application where you can find out the driver where he is. So when you just make a call and if, if 
your driver, if your uh, friends or somebody is saying, no, I am very close to your house or I am coming immediately. But actually, our phone GPS will tell us where actually they are, which place. So you cannot lie with your family and friends. So this is a one such application where the cellular probe surveillance, which help us to find out the various induction, incident in the detection and the travel time at a particular point to your particular destination. Video surveillance, this is very widely used in the video of collecting the various uh, number of vehicle, detect and verify the traffic incident, monitor the traffic conditions and movement, monitor the incident clearance and verify the message and display on CMS. Road weather information system. This is a very interesting information system which has been used in many of the European American countries where there have a very long highway. So when you move from one point to other point, when you move from one state to other state, it will the entire weather changes immediately. You are not warned before. So there will be a very high, uh, for example, a high uh, detection or a flood warning. Morning. So, you can detect this weather information system will give you all the information regarding the flood warning, limited visibility, freezing payment and high wind warning to the drivers. This is an information distribution system. So, this is a control co command center where you get all the information and all these informations are monitored and immediately the message is being sent back. So, if a particular area is being having very traffic, you can have the information distributed to the nearby the local street or the collector street so that the people can move to the different directions. So, information is conveyed by fixed terminals like telephones, radio, television and computers, mobile terminals like car, radio, cellular phones, laptop, car mounted computers, pages and the household digital service are also used. This is way in motion while we if you would like to find out what is the total weight of the vehicle if I suspect something uh, weight has been carried in a vehicle then immediately without knowing to the driver it can be identified when the vehicle is passed in way in motion location the vehicle total load has been displayed. So, this is very much interesting in the places where more criminals are moving in overheight vehicle divert. So, this is the overheight detection. There are certain places where the heavy vehicles are not allowed. So, when our heavy vehicles are moving in that direction, immediately an alarm will arm the driver not to move in that direction because it, it is getting into overheight. So, they have to get divert into the different direction. This is an automated highway system where you can have within a highway you can find out a vehicle to vehicle short range communication. You can communicate with the vehicle which is moving in front, moving at the sides. You can also avoid collision obstacles and detection radar. You can also have a lane holding a particular vehicle can move in a particular direction. Obstacle detection, so vehicle can detect the obstacle which is coming very close to it. So it is all in the automated highway system. Vehicle information and communication system, this is for the passenger who are standing in the buses who will be given the information regarding the various vehicle and it has been communicated when deploying the radio wave beacon, infrared beacon and FM multiplex broadcast in a form of maps, graphics and text displays. Traveler time display. So when you are moving on a highway, if you within with the speed of your vehicle, a sensor will detect. So and it can display how much time it will require for you to get into the nearest station. So this is the travel time display. It does with your speed of the vehicle. So junction electronic eye system. So various junctions are getting more and more traffic nowadays. So in order to identify whether the traffic is getting into a junk into the intersection, so you provide this junction electronic I, J eyes, which is being provided at very uh, all the intersection in order to monitor whether the intersections are getting traffic. 
electronic road pricing so it is you all very know about this it is a toll so today you have fast tag so you prepare your fast tag you have a label and you may let your vehicle move fast in the electronic road pricing which is called as ERP truck rollover warning so here you can see many times when you move on highway the trucks vehicle will have will move in a lane which has not been allotted to them so in order to make sure that the trucks does not disturb the moving vehicle the combined three technologies like vehicle classification speed detection and the information dissemination is being done in the truck rollover warning alert the drivers to the potential of tipping the vehicle so multimodal traveler management and the traveler information are the main applications of this duo informatics you can have a bus transit management instant management emergency management level crossing safety integration and communication with the vehicle ITS application in India, you can see almost all the vehicles nowadays, the modern vehicles, the advanced vehicles are fitted with the GIS and GPS equipment in order to make the vehicle automatically find out the uh, detection and it can also move in. There is a map inside the vehicle. So, in a golden quadrilateral, the north-south and east-west corridor of the National Highway Development Authority, the following options are examined in order to provide the ITS application in commercial vehicle, operation management, advanced public transport system, traffic police functioning and parking management system. So traffic police functioning to enforcement of speed limit. So today the traffic policemen are no need to stand anymore on the road. They can sit inside their control room and just monitor the vehicle. And if any vehicle detected for the speed limit or jumping of signal or violation of the intersection, they can just book it the vehicle and send a message to the, uh, the vehicle owner and they can find it. So done by either recording the plate number of the vehicle by violating the regulation and controls or by displaying the violation to them and make them understand their mistakes. Parking management system, this is also another important uh, application in GIS where uh, vehicles are parked automatically by using the smart parking card and the parking meter is also be very much useful in order to find out the amount in which the vehicle has to be charged. So this is to inform and guide the motorist wanting to find a place for parking their vehicle. This can be done for off-street parking as well as on-street parking. The information on vacant space will be displayed either through the boats or that is installed on the roadside or through internet. Thank you. So I hope you would all understood the various application of the geoinformatics in the modern urban transportation.